Right, uh, this is uh, part two of Seven Akinbra. YouTube only allows me to put up ten minutes, so I hope I'm not rambling on too much. Uh, we're still in the bathroom. You can see the, you know, just the light fittings at Dodgy. Um, the extractor fan legally obviously has to be here. Um, now, interestingly enough, um, I know for a fact that the ducting goes through here, and when we fitted the shaver, yeah, the builders had to put in an extra plug there, but the electrician cut into the roof and I witnessed him cutting through the ducting and then they plastered over it. Um, I know for a fact that it's not fixed, there was one thing that had to fix, but subsequently the building inspector said that the ducting is supposed to vent externally and it doesn't, it's just left lying in the roof. Um, so it's just another another problem that we have to sort out. I'm not sure if I did this in the other window, but you can see the, you know, all of the fittings are just you know, just absolutely all over the place. Um, the lights are interesting. The inspectors also said that uh, those are not allowed to be in there. He said the builders and electricians should have known the regulations. They've fitted all these lights, chargers for them, and uh, the building inspector simply says we have to remove them. I'm busy finding out if that is true or not. Um, but, uh, for instance, I pulled this one out while the inspectors were here, and there's absolutely no cavity insulation in this dormer. Um, so, therefore, the building inspector says, well, is the insulation anyway? Uh, I have seen this mostly everywhere. I think that was probably just a small oversight. Um, but again, you can just see the really, really poor workmanship of how things were finished. Absolutely shocking. Um, um, I don't know if you can see, but you, know, you, you physically can see the roof bend down. Uh, this is obviously where the big steel structure is. Um, it's under under question. Uh, simple things like you know how they finish the skirting boards. Not brilliant. Uh, all this carpet for upstairs has obviously all been paid for. It's been this room's been done and the other room's been done, but we can't do this area here until everything's sound off because we're not quite sure about the piping and the, and the electrics, etc. So uh, a bit of a catch twenty two. This little room is a walk in cupboard that we had made. And just out of some spare space, but you, again, you can just see the shocking quality of work. And we've tried to patch it up with filling paste, but it just just hasn't hasn't worked. The walls uh, again, you know, essentially a new build, just bulging out. Really bad workmanship on all the corners. And um, you know, to the effect that if you look in these little cupboard spaces, it's just how it's left. Um, this is where the boiler lives in here. All plumbed in, as far as we can see. It does lose pressure every two days. I have to top it up. That's why the key's in there, um, uh, which is a bit annoying. It's terrible in winter because uh, it just shuts itself off and it's uh, a bit of a dog to get started again. <clears throat> the top and the bottom of the house are in two separate circuits, uh, all plumbed in and ready to go. But obviously, there's no there's no electrical uh, bits plumbed in, so the electrician has to. They come and, 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 and wire that all, all that in. I'm not 100% sure of these pipes. We did have a gas leak outside, and, and the guys that came to fix it said this soldering is not the best quality. Um, simple, irritating things like you know, this is how they finished the skirting boards, and you know, this is how the, the carpet guy could fit. He, could, he said he couldn't do any better um, because it was just such a terrible job. I've had plasters in taking a look at this, see if they can fix it, and they said actually, well, it's a re-plaster job, uh, which is obviously a bit disappointing. Uh, one of the things that uh, I probably should show you is um, is the fact that uh, on all these dormer boards, they have obviously used ungovernized nails, and if all the rust is, is pouring out. The rest of it is the same. The, the top layer here was supposed to have been done with triple felt, um, and I'm not 100% sure it is triple felt. He came back and said, well, actually, they've used something better, um, and then they've, then they've run away. Now, if we look over there, you can probably see a tile that's um, sticking up in the air. Well, that's purely because um, there's a big, a big bar there. Actually, it'd probably be better if I climb out and show you. And then I can show you the rest of the rest of the stuff. Okay, so yeah, so for instance, you know the tile just sticks up and if you lift it up you can just see the oh, you know, the steel 
piece of good is right here, pushing it in. It's actually stopping the towel go down. Ooh. Much bigger problem obviously is the you know the top of the roof it is all quite badly skewed. If I climb up here you'll be able to see what I mean. You can see the gutters are just left full. You can probably see how, how skewed that is. There's the family. And that is about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope it, the video has been useful. hope you can use it. We didn't enjoy the experience. But uh, there you go. Life goes on.